So, hello. Ang topic natin dito sa video na to is effective stress of soil. Pero before we proceed sa sample problem, eh, i-refresh na lang muna natin yung utak nyo sa mga formula na kailangan dito sa effective stress. So, yun. Unang-una sa lahat, yung total stress, which is PT. PT is equal to summation of gamma H. Ano nga ba yung PT? PT is total stress. Uh, gamma is unit weight. And H is height. Susunod. Neutral stress or pore water stress. Uh, ang formula niyan is PW is equal to gamma W times HW. Where PW is pore water pressure, gamma W is unit weight of water, and HW is height of water. Effective stress. PE is equal to PT minus PW. Yun na nga, sinabi na kanina, effective stress, PT is total stress, and PW is pore water pressure. And lastly, yung HC, capillary rise. HC is equal to C all over E times D10. Yung HC is capillary rise. C is the constant that can range from 0.1 to 0.5 square centimeter. E is equal to void ratio na pinag-aralan nyo sa Geotech 1. At D10 is the soil particle size which is 10% finer passing in centimeter. Ngayon, proceed na tayo sa example natin. Sample number 1. Ito yon The soil profile consists of 6 meter sand. And under it is a 10 meter deep layer. Yan. The groundwater table was determined to be 3.1 below the surface. And the sun has a dry unit weight of 19 kilo, ay, kilonewton per cubic meter. And a saturated unit weight of 20 kilonewton per meter. The saturated unit weight of clay is 15.6 kilonewton per cubic meter. At a depth of 9 meters, Determine the following. Total stress, water pressure at effective pressure. So, yan. Ito yan. Sa una, total stress or pressure. Eh, may formula naman. Napakadali lang yan. PT is equal to summation of gamma H. So, PT is equal to, unay natin sa taas. 19.3. Ah, 19. 19 kilonewton. Yeah, ang ano niya lang dyan is yung 3.1. Dahil sabi nga doon sa problem, ang, ang water is located 3.1 below the soil surface. So, ibig sabihin yung 3.1 na yun, yun yung dry. Yun yung walang tubig. Kaya doon tayo mag ng, ng 19 times 3.1. Plus, Yung saturated naman, saturated ng sun, saturated soil. So, 20 times, ano naman yun? E di ma-minus mo na ngayon yung sa 3.1. Dahil yung 3.1 is for dry. So, yung natira is for saturated. 6 minus 3.1. Plus, lastly, 15.6 kilonewton per cubic meter times... 9 minus 6. Kasi yung clay is yung 3 meters lang doon. At ang hinahanap lang natin is yung effective pressure 9 meters below the ground. Kaya 9 minus 6. Yan, calculator nyo. Makakakuha kayo ng sagot na 163.70 kilopascal. Next, total pressure pa lang tayo. Isunod natin yung water pressure. Water pressure, madali lang naman, PW is equal to gamma W, HW. So, yon 9.81 times, dahil 9 meters lang yung consider natin, kaya 9 minus 3.1, which is dry yun, ba Dry yung 3.1. So, ang natitira lang is yung, yung distance nun na natira. 9 minus 3.1. Ang makukuha niyong sagot is 157.879. Ayon, uh, sana habang pinapanood niyo to, 
eh, sinosolve nyo rin gamit ng calculator nyo para nasasabayan nyo kaysa yung pinapanood nyo lang. And lastly, effective pressure. Yung hinahanap natin, P is equal to PT minus PW. So, PE is equal to 163.7 minus 57.879. Mamainos mo lang yung nauna mong dalawang sinagutan. So, yun, bukod dyan, pwede mo rin namang gamitin itong formula na ito. Awan ko lang, pero uh, mas prefer kong gamitin itong pangalawa. Kasi... Ang alam ko is mas safe siyang gamitin talaga. So, yan. Una, mag-umpisa kayo sa taas. 19 times 3.1 plus 20 minus 9.81. Ima-minus mo yung sa water. So, 20 times 9.81 times 6 minus 3.1. Para lang siya doon sa total stress yung formula doon. Kaso, Lahat ng may saturated, babawasan mo ng gamma ng water. So, kung titignan nyo, yung 20, nag-minus tayo ng 9.81. Tapos, yung 15.6 na saturated ulit, nag-minus ulit tayo ng 9.81. So, pareho lang yung lalabas dyan. P is equal to 105.821 kilopascal. Next, bigay pa tayo ng isa pang problem. Kasama yung... Capillary rise. So, ito, a dense silt layer has the following properties. Void ratio is equal to 0.30. Effective diameter, 10 micrometer. Capillary constant, C is equal to 0.20 square centimeter. Free groundwater level is 10 meters below the ground surface. Assuming gamma saturated is equal to 26.5 kN per cubic meter and the soil above the capillary action rise and ground surface is partially saturated at 60%. Yan. Mga yan, ano, take down nyo para hindi kayo nalilito. Now, let's determine the height of the capillary rise in the silt. Tapos, Vertical effective stress in KPA at a depth of 5 meters. And lastly, vertical effective stress in KPA at a depth of 11 meters naman. Yan. So, proceed na tayo sa solving. Ayan. HC, capillary rise, is equal to C over ED10. Yan. I, ano nyo lang. So, di ba ang C natin is 0.20, pero dahil nakameters yung mga given natin, i-convert natin sa meters. Dahil yung 0.20 is nasa cube, ah, square centimeter. So, multiply mo siya, convert 1 over 100 square. Yun, magiging meter na yan. All over 0.30, tapos yung uh, diameter size is 10 micrometer. So, kapag i-convert mo yun, i-multiply mo sa times 10 raised to negative 6 para maging meters din siya. Kapag nagawa nyo na yan, ang lalabas na sagot is 6.67. Ilagay natin siya dun sa figure. Ito yung 6.67. Tapos, ito naman yung 1.33. Minus lang, 10 minus 67. 6.67 is 1.33. So, next, GS na tayo. Kunin natin yung GS dahil wala pa tayong gamma 1 at gamma 2. Isusolve pa natin yan. So, para makuha yun, i-divide nyo lang yung gamma saturated sa gamma ng water. Which is 26.5 over 9.81. Makakakuha kayo ng sagot na 2.70. So, let's proceed. Gamma 1. Gamma 1, ano na ba yung formula? Pagkuha ng gamma, nakasama yung GS, merong void ratio, at merong gamma ng water. ba GS plus E over 1 plus E times gamma ng water yon So, ito na yon hindi ko na siya sinulat. Input ko na agad yung mga given. So, 2.70 plus 0 0.30. At dahil saturated yan, ng 60%, take note, may 60% tayo dun sa problem. So, isusulat nyo yun. Imumultiply nyo sa E. Dahil, diba, 
GS plus ES over 1 plus E times 9.81. So, yan. 1 over uh, 1 plus 0 0.30 times 9.81. Yan. Makakakuha yan ng sagot na 21.73. Next is sa gamma, gamma 2. Yan dito yung wala ng saturation yan dahil dyan sa baba na yan. Ibig sabihin 100% saturated na yan. So, ang magiging formula niyan is 2.70 plus 0 0.30. Actually, pwede mong, ano, para maalala mo, times 1 dyan, di ba? Kasi 100%. All over 1 plus 0 0.30 times 9.81. And you'll get an answer of 22.64 kN per cubic meter. Yan. Ready na tayo kumuha dun sa vertical effective stress sa 5 meters below below the soil surface. So, ito yun. Kunin natin yung total pressure muna. PT is equal to 21.73 yung nakuha natin na gamma 1 times 1.33 plus uh, 22.64 kilonewtons dahil 5 meters yan. Meron pa tayong natitirang uh, 5 minus 1.33. So, yun. So, PT is equal to 111.9897 kilopascal. Yun ang lumabas sa calcul ko, kaya nilagay ko na muna lahat para hindi magulo. So, next is pour water pressure. Gamma W, HW. So, PW is equal to 9.81 times 10 minus 5. Ayun, dahil yun yung nakikita nyo, 10 minus 5. Yan. So, PW is 49.05 kilopascal. And lastly, kukunin na natin yung effective stress 5 meters below the ground surface. Ito yun, ma-minus nyo lang, 111. Minus 49.05 is equal to 62.94 kp. Yan yung sagot sa pangalawang uh, hinahanap. Next naman, punta tayo dun sa last. Vertical effective stress naman. 11 meters below the ground surface. Which is sumobra siya dun sa 10 meters. Uh, kaya, ano, tumadali lang naman siya. Parao lang din naman yung gagawin. 21.73 Ayon, uh, times 1.33 pa rin. Dahil yun yung gamma 1. Tapos sa uh, gamma 2, 22.64, yung 11 na. 11 minus 1.33. Ayon, makakakuha ka ng sagot na. 247.8297. Next is the pour water pressure. Magkaiba yan dun sa pangalawang situation. Dito sa pangatlo. Dahil yung sa una, sa five, para sa 5 meters yun. Ito naman, para sa 11 meters. So, 9.81 times 11 minus 10. Which will give you an answer of 9.81. Then, ma-minus nyo lang yan. Yung dalawa, para makuha yung effective stress. So, effective stress is equal to 247. 0.8297 minus 9.81 which will give you an answer the final answer of 238.02 kPa. So, ayun. Sana may natutunan kayo. Natutunan nyo. Nagets nyo kung paano kumuha ng ganyan. So, seat work will be given to you later. So, thank you for listening.